All right, so this is what I have, a blank slate now, and i got to fill in the details. So I need a website that kind of gives me the details, and I found one called faceandemotion.com. It's a relatively hard site to get through, so I'll kind of walk you through how to get these really high-res image. Again, faceandemotion.com. Leave off this stuff, and you'll go to this, and go to human skull, and then other skull views, and then you get this. So this gives you the bottom part of the skull where we're going to kind of use this as a little bit of reference to find out, you know, what kind of detail do I need to put in here. And the detail that I'm going to put in there is not anatomically driven. It's more like aesthetically driven. So uh, we're going to work on this, but I'm not going to make it absolutely perfect to this picture. So if we page over to this, we can start get started. What I'm going to do is start subtracting in this area. Make a hole. Also, I noticed there was a couple holes right here. Okay. And also, I'm going to make another one right about in this area to start sculpting out that jaw so we're going to make a fake little area where that that's supposed to be hollow in that area and again I might back down a level that way I can get this high res detail in and smooth it out so a lot of times it is nice to sculpt on level 7, but really it's so much better to sculpt on a lower level and then bring it back up and then that way it smooths out. So all that did was make that. So if I end up tilting the skull at all, it looks like it's hollow in that area. Then I saw some ridges in here, so I'm going to bring some ridges in. And we'll end up pinching these, so... And then I'm just going to add some noise in this general area. Once in a while, hit it with a higher noise value. If I wanted to, I could bring that into ZBrush, but I can just toggle back and forth and kind of memorize the details and go on with it and then I'm going to take the pinch brush as I said and start pinching those details together so it makes a harder edge. Turn on lazy mouse for this. A lot of times when you do a pinch in an area, like it'll put a nice little ridge in that. 
and make it it'll add to the normal map on it so something just slight and you can see I can really kind of develop where these two forms connect same with this if I want to tighten up the look here I can use the pinch brush to tighten that up pinch press is amazing as as far as like just having sculpted detail in there then want to bring it out a little further what I do like to do is keep a very smooth mesh so if I see anything that's fauceted I'll, I'll start smoothing that out and then I'm going to take the flatten brush and kind of go over here with the RGB turned off and see if I could flatten some of this stuff out I'm just hitting it every once in a while so you can see I'm, st I'm really going in and grabbing a different brush every time and that's kind of my my little workflow is between you know pinching flatten standard you can pretty much make just about any detail that you want what I'm trying to do is get a read of it in the front view here to make sure that these these details when I'm when I'm looking at it does it does it look nice with the form not if it's anatomy perfect but does that look good there the jaw is probably going to cover that up anyway so Alright, please go on to the next video where I sculpt some more and we'll fix up the eyes here.